Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I say to the beat. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Child, we got a whole bunch of news out of Fulton County, but to start us off, Young Thug's brother was arrested after he got his plea deal for the RICO case. Why are you still riding dirty? Because of course they caught him riding dirty. You know the police are on you. You're out on plea. You copped a plea to a felony. So you know they are following thee. Why are you gonna have a weapon in the car? I'm so glad B. Scott used this picture because that's exactly how I'm looking at you right now. You too ugly to be committing crimes. You need to be brushing that head. And then the police smell burnt marijuana in the car. Smoke at the heezy. Why can't you smoke at the heezy? I don't see why people need to smoke in the vehicle. At the house, you can smoke at the house. Why are you even leaving, leaving the house? You need to have an anklet on. They need to put an anklet on your arse. Now ladies, I have a question for you. Neo's hitting up his ex-girlfriend with demands for a DNA because he's been ordered to pay child support for his two children with her. However, looking at Neo's head, how do you get pregnant by that? Because that head, because you know that head could be genetic. I would not want a head that big passing through my puss. Or if you have sex with Neo and you're aiming to get pregnant, have you already just committed to a cesarean? I mean, if you having a C-section, that's fine. But I, ooh, I wouldn't put my pussy through it. I couldn't do it. The forehead's big and the man is whack. Why would you get pregnant by that? Kevin Costner is getting a divorce and his wife apparently wasn't happy about the actor's obsessive work habits. Wait a minute, your husband is rich and out of the house and you're whining? And also, so he was working too much so he wasn't spending time with you, so now you're gonna divorce him so you'll never spend time with him. I don't get your logic, Heffa. Fuck him on set. You gotta fuck him on set. If I married an act, I'd be fucking him on set. And that way too, I'd keep the hussies at bay. Oh my God, Kate from uh, Below Deck is pregnant, the one on Traders? Now, instead of who would get pregnant by that, why would you get that pregnant? Kate is a miserable, rotten harpy of a heifer. Oh, she's just a horrible witchy poo human being that's a crone in training. So we had a little Cora Nene this weekend and um, Princess Anne checked Camilla real hard. She says she is not the queen, she is the queen consort, consort and will be addressed as such. And she ain't no consort. She's a scheming, lying, cheating, home-wrecking heifer. Palace-wrecking heifer. She's a skank hoe and will be addressed as such. I saw a little clip of her getting that crown on her head. You can see her hand just reaching up grabbing for it. Pathetic. You got your little crown at 800, but you'll be dropping soon. We all know that crown was really meant for Diana's head. Derek Jeter and wife Hannah secretly welcome fourth baby. Is it a secret or did we stop caring after your second child? Cause you know, we ain't related to you. We ain't going to your house. We all happy that you had your third one. You don't even play baseball or date Mariah Carey no more. So why do we care about you and your chitlins? Why are we just, is, was it a slow news day? Housewives of Salt Lake City filming turns explosive amidst Whitney Rose and Lisa Barlow feud. What are they fighting about? Whitney's fat unemployed husband? Or Lisa's ugly and unemployed husband? I mean, both of you got coots you supporting. I figured you'd band together. Whitney, you could sell the girls that drink her tequila skincare because you know that swill will age you. But at least you ain't fighting with Heather's wide back ass no more. Do we care about Salt Lake City this new season? I mean, without Jen and then Mary being a friend of and still hearing and deal with Meredith Marks not engaging. I'm a watch because a check is a check, but I ain't got a fuck. Machine Gun Kelly, this is Jack Harlow on New Freestyle. 
what does white rapper beef look like? Y'all going to get your dads and, and have them like square up at the end of the cul-de-sac? Is that what's going to happen? Somebody's going to sue. That's what's going to happen. Somebody's going to sue. I can hear the squeak of boat shoes now. In Give It Up News, Jay-Z's alleged son, Ramir, files a motion to the Supreme Court amid a 10-year paternity battle. 10 years, and he ain't said either, Pappy. Even if you do say it, you ain't getting shit. When Ramir was eight years old, he says his mother told him that Jay-Z was his real father. Girl... I'm sorry, but a whole bunch of girls said Jay-Z got them pregnant. I just don't believe it. The rapper's attorney insists the case should be dismissed outright because Ramir was over 18 at the time of pre-trial. Girl, so you grown. Look, Beyonce don't fuck with her actual half-sisters. You really think Jay-Z gonna mess with you? You're a fool. Diddy says he and Jermaine Dupri will face off in a versus battle. No, I want to see how much money y'all stole from your groups. That's the battle I want to see. I want to see how much you took from Total Diddy. I want to see how much Jermaine stole from SWV. That's what I want to know. How much of Shine's money you got, did? And then I wish I could get that leg up news. Genuine also damn near took the ASL interpreter out while he was falling off stage, but still hitting the note. Unlike Michelle Williams, she just fell silently. But Genuine, I'ma need you to rehearse before you get out on the stage and try to pop your bussy, cause you gonna end up hurting yourself. And you got 5011 kids, you have a future amount of children. You have a Nick Cannon of children. So you need every penny from every performance. You can't be out here hurting yourself. Proz insisted that he was never an FBI informant. Honey, you were found guilty. Of course you weren't an informant. If you were an informant, you would have been turning state's evidence. They about to put you away. You think you can just launder 20, 30 million dollars worth of foreign money. I don't know who you think you is, but they don't let black people do that. You gotta put that off on the pink toes. Boosie Badass was arrested on weapon charges in San Diego. Was it his breath? Because I don't know why he needs a gun when he's got that face and that breath. I can tell the breath's bad from the picture. Not to mention you online begging for diabetes medication so we know if your sugar ain't right, the breath ain't right. I mean, what's scarier than your face? What's more painful? Honestly, a bullet would be pleasant rather than looking at you. Cedric the Entertainer says Will Smith deserves a comeback. He ain't gone nowhere. He ain't gone no damn where. He don't need to be making movies every 15 minutes, and he's about to come out with Bad Boys 4. Where has he gone? They canceled Jada's business. You need a comeback. Where are you? Wait, you got that show on um, something with uh, Tashina Arnold. I actually like that show. But yeah, Will ain't going nowhere. He ain't going to the Oscars no more, but that's fine. Wasn't going to win no more anyway. He don't need the gift basket. But let's get to in-debt news. Kim and Croy Beerman owe the United States IRS. $1.1 million in back federal taxes. Federal, 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 federal. For the years 2015, 2018, and 2019. Debt. And you can't get out of that with a bankruptcy. Debt. So I get your toddy for the payment. Oh, oh, get your toddy for the payment. They're taking your home. Well, they're toddy for the payment. Wait, they can't take your home because you don't own it. It's mortgage to the hilt. Now, aren't you the same heifer that said, Croy made $20 million in the NFL. I think we're fine. I think you're broke. Because he could give one of them $20 mil to the IRS and then another one of them $20 mil to the people that own your house. Well, the mortgage on it. I mean, that house should have been paid off. You paid eight eighty dollars for it. You bought that house back when it was cheap. You should be flipping it and moving into something even more luxurious. Is that why you kept the mortgage on your home so that way you could claim that as part of your monthly expenses so you wouldn't have to leave? You said, I figure I'll spend it before the government get it. Is that what it is? Are you going to put your whole daughter out on the stroll? Because we know you was, you know, putting her puss out for those John Legend tickets. 
Why haven't you mortgaged her muff for the mortgage? Why haven't you sold her snatch for shelter? Is it because it's not a concert? I hope you got a lot more of them sorry wigs to sell, girl, because 1.1 million, that's a lot. And then you're going to have to pay taxes on that 1.1 million. Because every million you make is really 575000 So you've got to make $2 million, $2 million and some change to pay off just the debt. 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 Are you going to come back to Atlanta? We don't want you on Atlanta. We don't want to look at your ass. We don't. We don't. I love it when they call me Big Papa. Well, I think you're going to love calling Big Papa now that you're broke and single again because you have filed for divorce. You said you separated on the 30th. The 30th of April, I guess that's when you realized you had that tax debt, so you figure, I'll just leave him. Well, honey, that debt's going to follow you. You owe half a million each, each, and the government's going to get their cut. But why are you leaving your pink toe? I mean, 11 years, 11 years, you spent his cash. And you're going to leave him after you spent his last dime. He should have left your ass a thousand times. Well, you not going to pay, you not going to pay, not going to pay taxes, yeah. No, you're not going to pay your mortgage and your kids gonna have nowhere to live i mean you don't work every day of the week you don't work any day of the week so maybe you will try to get back on bravo i mean you ain't been doing a girls trip or the other little shows did bravo get tired of you no longer andy's favorite is that why your debt's so deep you know what just rent croy out to andy rent croy out to andy tell him look Put your heels to Jesus and think of handbags like I did. You better sell your whole daughter and Croy's bussy to get yourself out of this mess because clearly the ring didn't mean a thing. Once he was out of money, the ring didn't mean a thing to you. But the tax debt does and will until it's paid. Well, these were today's top stories from this bottom, but I'm going to see you soon for Speak On It. Because Candy had a lot to say. But Carlos King never does when it comes to Candy or Elise Neal and that light falling on her head. Why don't you tell us the truth, Carlos? Because it's on TMZ. You can look it up. You can look it up. I might have to ask Todd Tucker if he'll tell the truth. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee. Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. Allegedly.